Hello and welcome to Mighty Success Blueprint. My name is Nicholas Mighty and I'm really excited to have you here today. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a time of your life, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, make sure you're enjoying yourself. Otherwise, life loses meaning, right? And I read up, you know, just before we go into what I've got to share with you today, I read something, I think, I read, I read a line from the Bible that said, do everything you can to live in peace, right? And everything you can, that means get everything out of the way. Just make sure you're peaceful. I thought I should share that just in case uh, you're caught up in the drama that's happening all around the world. Focus on what you can change, right? You can transform a lot of things about yourself. In fact, personal development is a journey, right? And still, a line in the Bible that says uh, the glory is always increasing, right? So you can always increase, you can always improve, you can always get better. It doesn't matter where you are. When you reach, say for example, you're doing a business, running a business, uh, you reach um, maybe a million dollars a month, there is still room for improvement. So it never ends, right? So today we are going to look at, uh, I'm going to share with you the five mistakes that I made when I was starting out. Now, these are really, really, really important. Very, 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 very important. If there is anything that you're going to remember from what I have ever shared, this is going to be key. It's going to be fundamental. It's something that you've got to take home and work on these, right? I made some mistakes. You know, when starting out, you think, well, I've got to save some money. So you try to hold everything. You try to do everything, you know, you try to, you know, be dramatic, right? But I'll tell you what, um, the most, you know, life is not strange, right? Well, many people say life is strange, but I'll tell you, and I'll tell you this, life is easy. And the more I, you know, put in the action and put in the work and do different things and get results, the more I understand that life is actually easy. And the thing is, you know, if you want true success, look at the people who are actually are very successful, right? Don't do what they tell you to do. Do exactly what they're doing. That's one thing I learned. Do exactly what they're doing, right? And a lot of times, you know, we leave that to them and we think that there is always a place to start. No, you can start at a level. You can start at a different level. You know, you don't have to build business following Google and, you know, uh, writing all the content for Google. And you don't have to write for Google. And I say that with all respect for Google, right? You, you can and you can create a Google. You can create another search engine. You know, that's the power you have. And um, I always share this and I always tell people, stop following Google. You know, stop going mad about Facebook and if Facebook doesn't work and everything else. Use, use some other tools, you know, develop some other tools as well, right? So anyways, that's not part of today's video. That's another day's talk. So number one mistake I made was I delayed, right? Delayed to hire. I hope you can read my stuff, but I'll say, I delayed to hire, right? Reasons, saving money, whatever the reasons are, that was too late for me, right? Uh, not too late, but it was quite late and unfortunate. I delayed to hire, reasons, saving money, and all those kind of things. I don't know who to hire, and the process is complicated. And I'll tell you what, hiring will save you a lot of time, right? First of all, you will be able to concentrate on what you do best because that's the only thing that you're meant to do, right? Now, I'm a creative person. You know, I prefer to build the superstructure and get people to work on it. You know, when I began to do that, I began to see results, right? I began to value people's contribution much more, right? So that's very, very important. That's one of the mistakes that many, many, many people make and are still making. The other thing or the other mistake that I made is... I didn't use tools. Didn't use automation.
Now that does that doesn't seem like automation, but I mean I didn't use automation tools. Right now there are many tools that can actually automate some parts of your business, right? Now I don't mean you leave everything to a tool because things could go wrong and your revenue could start plummeting because you left some random robot to run some aspects of your funnel. But Automation tools will cut out the time that you spend scheduling and doing, spending time on social media and all those kind of things to doing valuable things that are actually important to your business. That's very, very important. Now, for whatever reasons, I had different reasons and most of us do. So, for example, you think they are expensive. Well, you can always find tools that are a little bit, you know, that are your budget. Of course, I don't encourage people to use, you know, very cheap stuff, right? Because you shouldn't really be cheap, right? Um, use the right tools, but use what you can and the level where you are, right? So, and the other thing that I didn't do is I did everything myself. So I didn't let other people, similar to hiring, but this is, even when I hired, even when I had people, I tried to do what they do. I did everything by myself. That's a great mistake. You can't do everything yourself. You can't design your logo. You can't uh, build your funnel. Then you go on to, um, you know, building your website and doing everything yourself. You never make that mistake. That's a great mistake. Um, you will save a lot of time, a lot of headache, giving, you know, professionals to do the work, you know, that, and then you concentrate on your income, right? You concentrate on the time that you spend, the face time before, you know, that you spend with your clients. And that may not mean the people that are paying you, especially when you're getting started, but it could mean the prospects, you know, people who are potential clients spending time with them right that's what you want to do okay that's what you want to increase you don't want to do everything you don't want to get yourself all over the place and doing everything by yourself remember when you start a business okay now you might be the owner right but it's an entity right so in other words it's an organization what are organizations they are community you know they are owned not just by you. Remember, the government has a share. Anyways, I won't go into that, but you know, you're the boss, okay? Because you say, you know, to whatever you do, you tell somebody to do this and they do it, but that's not the end of the story, right? Your colleagues or your workmates or your employees are partners. And as long as you see them as partners, you will win. So. Don't get to do everything. Um, ask them to do, you know, the experts. Give the experts uh, the work to do what they can do for you. The other mistake that I made is I ignored personal development. Now, that's a great mistake. I ignore personal development. What was I doing? What was I thinking? I was thinking about the money. So, um, for income to grow, you must grow. Now, that's one thing that I totally ignored. You know, I saw the money there. If I save enough of those boxes, then I will make the money. No. If you develop yourself well enough, you can't stop the money coming to you. So, I ignored personal development. And a lot of us do that. Right? So when you get the money, it only amplifies who you are. Right? So who are you going to be when you actually make the money? Right? Um, imagine, I, I remember somebody said, if you educate an idiot, then you have an educated idiot. Right? So <laughs> that was quite funny. And that was Jim Ron. But that, that's, that's impressive. That tells you, you hand money to an idiot, you've now given money to an idiot. You could do anything. He could do anything. He could run himself into, you know, into anything, basically anything, and destroy themselves. And of course, the last one is, you know, perfection. That was a mistake 
that I made and I will explain. So that's perfection. To me, that was a great mistake. I looked for perfection in everything, right? Now, there is near perfection, but there is also, you know, uh, looking, you know, to get better, looking to make things better. That's different. I'm talking about not being able to do the work because you think you're inadequate, because you think you're not yet there. Maybe you think, well, I won't do that video because I think, um, you know, I can look better than that. I'll wait until I get the haircut, you know. So those are kind of things. They, they seem really simple, but when you're starting out, they could plague your chances of doing really well. Number one is delaying to hire. That's, you know, there is a time to hire. And when that time comes, you will know, okay? Because you're, you know, you know you're, you're really accurate. Your spirit is very accurate, so you will know. And I didn't use automation. That's very important as well. And of course, I did everything by myself. And I ignored personal development. And perfection, that can be a problem. Can be a blessing, you know, when you do it right but it can be a problem. So uh, I hope these teach you something, you know, and I hope they help you to become better, right? And to run business, you know, the right way and to win at every count. So thank you very much. Leave me some comments in the description. Uh, leave me some comments um, below and let me know how, you know, what mistakes did you make? And if you're doing business, what have you learned from this? What, which one of them? do you think has been one of the things that you continue to make regardless? So thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.